This video will show how to configure ODBC on a Linux 64-bit machine, here CentOS 6, and how to configure PHP to use this ODBC connection. The video will also show how to use ISQL to use the ODBC connection. I will first disable SA Linux. For this, I open a terminal window. I log in as root. And I enter the following command. Now SA Linux is disabled. I will now create a test database. For this, I start a program environment like this. I create a copy of the demo database. ODB test db demo now connecting a single user to the database to create a sysprogress account I go press F3 tools data dictionary admin Security edit user list add this progress this progress as password I use this progress as well exit Exit F3 exit. Okay, and now I'm starting the database with ProServe test db minus s five. Okay, now the database is started. Now I installed the Unix ODBC and PHP packages that are needed. For this I do a Ctrl Shift T to open a new window. I log in as root. So I first installed Unix ODBC. Now the PHP or DBC package. And then the PHP package. Now I will create a PHP file called db.php Now 
Now I will copy some files. Create an odbc.ini file. as well as the odbc inst.ini file. Here a link of file. This is needed in uh, CentOS and Red Hat 6. It's a bug from Red Hat and CentOS. Now I'm starting the Apache web server. going to Firefox to see how the website is looking like. Okay, as you can see, it is working. To test the ODBC connection outside of PHP, you can do the following. use the ISQL utility which is using the same ODBC connection as the PHP does. Okay, as you can see I was able to establish a ODBC connection outside of PHP and get a result set. If SA Linux is enabled and enforced, the access to the PHP file will fail, like this. More information is available when enabling PHP debugging, like this. And searching for display errors. this to off to on. And we're sorting the Apache server. Message is typical from SE Linux, which is here enforcing. When we disable SA Linux, we see that the error disappears.
now describe how to create a new rule for SA Linux to keep it enforcing. For this, new packets will need to be installed. To create the additional SA Linux rules, a few packages need to be installed. Like the policy core utils Python. additional packages as well. I will now create the SA Linux rule. This, this. Then I empty the SA Linux audit log. see it's empty. Then I do a refresh on this page. So we'll fill the audit log again. As you see it's not empty. Now I'm creating the new rule for SA Linux. what the rule looks like. To apply the SA Linux rule, the following command can then be used. If we now enforce SA Linux with this command, now that the SA Linux rule is applied, we are still able to access this website. For this, just let's do a refresh. As you see, it's still working. This video showed how to configure ODBC on a Linux 64 bit machine, here CentOS 6 64 bit, and how to configure PHP to use this ODBC connection.